Hi, this is Dr. Preeti Ramadas and this is the fastest biodegradable napkin in the world. I have always wanted to work on a biodegradable material because I am a polymer scientist basically. I have worked uh, extensively on biopolymers. I wanted to do something biodegradable and being a female myself and uh, facing side effects due to the plastic based napkins myself, I wanted to do uh, something with my experience with biopolymers. I wanted to work on giving a completely biodegradable sanitary napkin to the world. It came up uh, in the year 2015 uh, when I uh, first uh, pitched in with my proposal to uh, Anna University professors uh, for joining PhD. Uh, back then, even now, uh, we have to go with the prof proposal uh, before we join a PhD you know, because people have to know like what we are going to work on. So uh, uh, back then in 2015, it was not a very uh, trendy topic, uh, biodegradable, anything was not a very trendy topic and people were not, they were very uh, reluctant and new uh, to uh, this kind of a topic. But then I pitched in with a lot of professors and um, uh, Professor Ariboli uh, was the one who uh, accepted uh, this project and he was very much welcoming also. He was very happy and excited to take me as his PhD student and that's how the journey started. I straight away started the project and um, the patent was filed in the year 2018, November. So until then I was working actually. <laughs> and in 2020 the patent was gra granted. Uh, so this is how the journey went and it was a very tedious uh, journey. Well, I wanted to replace all the three layers because you are not doing justice if you are going to replace only one material and say this is a biodegradable napkin. Of course not. <laughs> so I wanted to replace all the three layers. It took a lot of time. The basic uh, polymer that goes into making this napkin is uh, three different types of uh, cellulose. Uh, so derived from various plant sources, uh, three different types of cellulose slightly modified in my own way, my own invention and uh, making the top and bottom layer as completely hydrophobic, water repelling uh, whereas on the, in the contrary the middle layer has to be coming from cellulose only but it has to be completely hydrophilic it has to absorb a lot of fluids now the polymer is bought from Merck and uh, you know Sigma Aldrich that kind of uh, scientific companies so it is a scientific grade cellulose polymer that I purchased and mixed it with other different types of cellulose polymers and you know we have to cross link it and there is a cross linker I wanted to choose a cross linker that comes from plant source again because uh, cross linker also to alter the hydrophobicity hydrophilicity they use uh, different types of uh, very hazardous uh, in small quantities only they'll use hazardous chemicals as cross linkers I, di I, I didn't want to use those hazardous chemicals also I wanted each and every step that I was going through I made sure you know I use the clean source plant source this entire napkin takes totally 15 to 17 days to degrade in the soil when com completely buried in the soil uh, from the kind of biodegradable napkins that are already available in the market uh, the difference uh, is that you know they use PLA polylactic acid as uh, the top and the bottom layer which is hydrophobic uh, that is actually compostable not biodegradable so there is a lot of difference between compostable materials and biodegradable materials uh, mine can be both compost as well as biodegradable uh, when they say it is a compostable material they have to stick to that word but you know I, on the contrary they use the word biodegradable and which is uh, a misleading factor actually because biodegradable materials have to just degrade in the soil just like how a banana leaf degrades in the soil but uh, compostable uh, stuff are you know needs an external composting uh, methodology where you know the bacteria are grown in a tub and then all the composting materials are put into it and to feed the bacteria uh, and the fermentation begins and that's how composting is done and the uh, uh, problem with biopolymers bioplastics that's are, that are already available in the market is that you know uh, they do not degrade completely even after six years or seven years if you dig in you'll find very small bits of it which are even more hazardous and um, they have known to cause uh, infertility in the soil after degradation as well uh, whereas this one 
increases the soil's nitrogen by 20% after degradation.